launch conductor in um, mission control. We, we pause at this moment in our countdown to remember and honor the lives of each of the participants on the Celestis Memorial space flight. Their presence on this flight signifies a commitment to the opening of the space frontier shared by all of us. We wish the friends and families present today and all those who are with us in spirit all over the world, Godspeed, good luck, and our thanks for allowing us to share this very personal time with you today. LCL. Five vehicles armed, three, two, one, fire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, everyone that's watching. Uh, welcome once again to one of our Celestis uh, update uh, programs that we normally do monthly when we know we've had a flight that is about to go or has gone off, uh, which is, is the reason why we're holding this. We have a lot of information for you this, this evening for anyone who has been a part of, of our wonderful Horizon flight. Uh, there's a lot of things that uh, we're going to cover uh, on that. We have a special guest uh, that will be joining us this evening as well. Oh, and I hope everyone who was present um, virtually at the memorial service and or the launch, and even if you were physically uh, at the launch, um, make sure you comment in our comment section. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever on anything you need to ask uh, Celestis, our entire crew is here watching and, and ready to answer uh, anything you may be curious about. I'm sure there's a lot of things that um, you want to say to us. But in the meantime, you are familiar with this fantastic young guy right here. Uh, he's he's my, my boss, my friend, and uh, we, we love him to death. To death. <laughs> Uh, Charlie, how are you? I'm doing good, Mark. Uh, thanks. And uh, welcome, everybody, to our monthly Facebook Live. And uh, got a lot of exciting stuff to share tonight, uh, culminating in the world premiere of our Horizon Flight family video, which will be running on another channel. So we're, that'll be a little bit of a hop over to YouTube for everyone. Uh, at 6.30. So we're going to spend the first half hour uh, sharing information and introducing you to a new Celesta staff member who's our chief marketing officer with uh, lots of interest in hearing from all of you out there who are in the um, distributor side of our world. And I know a number of distributors tune in. So uh, looking forward to introducing Lindsay to you in a few minutes. Um, if I may, Mark, let me just start down my list and uh, we'll try to uh, break for any questions as we go. Um, the first thing I want to do is talk about closing the Horizon flight launch activities out. So you'll remember not all that long ago in, in our time, January of this year, we launched uh, our 17th uh, Memorial Space Flight, the Horizon Flight, into Earth orbit on the Space Flight Industry Sherpa FX-1 spacecraft aboard the SpaceX Falcon 9 Transporter 1 mission. So everybody remember that and there'll be a test uh, at the end of the event. But that's a lot of talk to say that we have a 105 additional spirits in orbit these days. And uh, we actually now have four orbiting spacecraft that will be there for many, many years. And if you go to our website, you can track all of them. Um, and that's been, for those of you who are on, uh, had family members or loved ones or friends on Horizon, you'll know that it's been a little bit of a challenge to get that tracking information. Um, we knew that in advance because the mission set a record, uh, launched 143 spacecraft uh, at once, and putting all those guys in the same orbital plane, uh, essentially the same time, they really had to kind of spread out over time before the 
uh, NORAD and the Air Force could actually identify and pinpoint which spacecraft was which. Well, we got the good news, I guess, about early last week that they've identified Sherpa, and we immediately put the spacecraft up on our website on tracking. So if you just go to celestis.com and hit live tracking, then um, you can track the Horizon spacecraft. There's also another element of tracking the uh, Horizon uh, spacecraft that we introduced uh, in conjunction with our friend Liam Kennedy, uh, and it's called Celestis Above. We talked about that, uh, I believe, in the last Facebook Live, and it's a really cool device that allows you not only to track Horizon, it can track any of our orbital spacecraft. It also tracks the um, ISS real time, and by tracking, I mean Literally, as the spacecraft is heading over your head, uh, bright lights and uh, visuals alert you that your loved one is flying overhead. It's really a cool device. We shipped out the first of those uh, orders last week, so they should be arriving, and they'll be arriving programmed to track Horizon. Now, you can, as I mentioned, we can track other Celestis spacecraft with it, but we know that the folks that ordered so far were interested in the Horizon flight. And so those should be landing on your doorstep sometime this week, along with plenty of instructions and, of course, our world famous support uh, to help you get that up and running. So uh, you'll be able to track the um, Horizon flight. Um, both on our website and on uh, Celestis Above, which is kind of cool. Um, remaining tasks on Horizon are, number one, the Horizon video. So we are going to premiere that tonight. Let me say a few words about it. As you know, Horizon was launched in January and COVID was as rampant as it is today, but the level of vaccination was not nearly what it is today. So we made a decision for the first really time in, in our history not to support, actively support on-site launch activities. And instead we ran two days of streaming video, um, uh, both the memorial testimonials and live coverage of the launch. We were very fortunate to have Mary Liz and Ryan from Cosmic Perspective on site there at uh, the Florida launch site. And they got some stunning videos, which you'll see in the, uh, in the premiere. But uh, the bottom line is, is that I decided that since everybody submitted participant videos this time, we were going to include all of them. In the, in the Horizon video. So um, we ended up with a long video. Um, the front part, about 20, 25 minutes is the launch along with our guest speakers, Nicole Stott, Frank White, and Christina Rasmussen. And then after that, we, in alphabetical order, have in, appended every single participant video that we have. That makes the whole event uh, probably longer than you'll want to watch. Uh, we're going to run the whole thing tonight, and uh, but you can also um, wait till tomorrow. And at our website, celestis.com, you can download a copy of the video. And then when it gets to the participant section, you can fast forward <laughs> to whoever you want to see. Uh, and so you're not really having to um, sit there for two and a half hours. Although I recommend it because it's amazing. Every Celestis participant is a story. Everyone's an amazing uh, uh, person. And uh, of course, we presented the whole group during our, our memorial service. And I found it fascinating, really interesting people um, 
who have chosen to honor their loved ones or interesting loved ones who are being honored. So it, at 6.30, at about 6.20, we'll start posting the address on YouTube. We'll shut this uh, event down at 6.30, and then everybody goes to YouTube, logs on, puts in the address, and watches the premiere of the Horizon Flight video. As I said, uh, you can download a copy tomorrow on our website. And for each participant, there is one video. Uh, you can download a video uh, at no cost. And we'll be sending out an email to the primary contact on the contract with the instructions on how to download that video. So that's a lot of information in a short time. Contact us if you have any questions. Um, also, this week, we will be sending out the, la the, the batch of launch certificates. Each time we launch a Celestis Memorial space flight, we create a commemorative uh, launch certificate, and that'll be going out into the mail to everybody um, this week as well. And then the final element of closing out the um, uh, uh, horizon flight will be uh, the scattering of the unflown balance of cremated remains. You know that we ask and actually require everyone to send us more remains than we launch uh, because we have a in the event the launch doesn't succeed. And it's been a long time. It's been over a decade since that's happened. Uh, but in the event that it doesn't, you we fly a second sample at, at no cost. Uh, so we have to hold on to that sample. Once the mission has succeeded, like Horizon did, then we, uh, by contract, will scatter the unflown remains near the launch site. In this case, it'll be at the Banana River uh, uh, near Kennedy Space Center. So that'll be done by the end of May. And then we will be um, officially closed out on the Horizon flight. And all you have to do is just track it on the website or on the Celestis above. I noticed in one of the comments, we had someone from the New Frontier flight, which was an equally cool mission flown on a, uh, a Falcon 9. And um, that mission uh, uh, is, is yet another example of our orbital flights. We've done seven or eight orbital flights. We have another orbital flight uh, scheduled. Uh, we call it the um, Excelsior flight. And that's scheduled now for the first quarter of 2023, which is a segue, and I'll be able to stop pretty soon, um, to the forthcoming launches schedule. I know a lot of people that watch us or live or watch us on YouTube subsequently uh, are really interested on when's my mission going to fly. And so we have some news and updates on that. Um, the first um, mission that's coming up is our Aurora flight which will is our Earthrise service, and it will fly out of uh, Spaceport America in New Mexico on October 26th. That's the current launch date. Um, reservations are still open for that mission, so if you're interested in, in uh, our next flight, just contact us and we'll, we'll get back with you ASAP. Um, I don't know anything yet about launch attendance. Hopefully by October, being outdoors in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico, and most of us hopefully vaccinated by then, uh, it might be able to actually support on-site uh, mission watching. We don't know that yet, uh, but um, I'm hopeful that we'll get back to providing the um, – uh, the service of hosting people at the launches. So that's October 26, Spaceport America in New Mexico. Um, the next mission up is not long after that. Um, you know, it used to be 
that we were only able to fly at best once every couple of years. And that really wasn't because nobody wanted to, it was because we had to wait for space flights. Uh, thank you, commercial launch providers. Uh, uh, that's not an issue anymore. We can, in fact, we'll be flying three missions this year. It'll be the first time we've done that. So our third mission this year, currently scheduled for the fourth quarter, and I'm saying that's likely to be December. That'll be from Florida. That's our tranquility flight where we go to the moon for the second time. Um, we have, I believe it's 65 individual flight capsules that'll go to the lunar surface aboard the Astrobotic Peregrine mission. And uh, those flight capsules were delivered to Astrobotic about a month ago, they'll be integrated and built into the spacecraft for a soft landing on the moon, launched by a ULA, ULA United Launch. Uh, I don't even remember what it is. It's the um, uh, partnership between Boeing and Lockheed, ULA. Uh, it'll be launched on their new Vulcan Centaur rocket, which is a powerful new rocket which NASA just added to their uh, stable of rockets that uh, they'll be uh, flying missions on, Astrobot, you know, thank you, Mary Liz, <laughs> United Launch Alliance. Um, uh, so we'll be flying out of the Cape, and I'm sure we'll have a cosmic perspective there covering it, and hopefully we'll all be down at the Cape for our second mission to the moon which is pretty exciting. I, I think in many ways, it's one of the coolest missions because there's no doubt that as long as we land on the visible side of the moon, which all of our missions are planning to do, you'll be able to look up every night um, and see where your loved ones are, uh, which is, again, I think pretty cool. Um, and uh, so that's our, our next mission. After that, I mentioned, well, then next coming up, and we're going to make a, an announcement about the particulars of this mission, uh, probably at next month's Facebook Live event, will be our long-awaited Enterprise flight, which is our first ever Voyager deep space mission. We're scheduling that right now for quarter four of 2020. Don't be surprised if we accomplish a very rare feat, which is move that closer. I, everyone's used to having launches spread out longer. These will be closer uh, if, if everything works out the way that we think it will. And then finally, um, I'll finish up. The next Earth orbital flight is the Excelsior flight, which I mentioned will fly out of Cape Canaveral in the first quarter of 2023. So as you can see, we will be busy and uh, we love being busy. We love being able to provide lots of uh, um, fulfillment for folks. Mark? A uh, question for you. I think uh, I was wondering what was the quarter for Enterprise flight, the year? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Good question. 2022. Okay. You, you had said 20. <laughs> well, uh, that's because I wrote down 20 on my notes. And ah. No one should trust me. All's good. All is good, Captain. <laughs> Thank you for catching me up. Now we have a few minutes before we premiere our video, and I want to bring in Mark, our uh, new Celestis Chief Marketing Officer, Lindsay War. And Lindsay will tell you a little bit about... Um, She's brand new. This is her first day. And so like all of us here at Celestis, we're like, well, what have you done for us lately? <laughs> so we want to put you on and, and tell us a little bit about yourself and what your cha challenge and or charge is here. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay War, and I'm really excited to be a part of the Celestis team. I, I, I just can't believe how much I've learned just today alone. Um, I've been looking at names of people that are viewing and I'm looking forward to meeting and working with all of you. You'll probably see my name in your inbox from time to time and I'm looking forward to 
having a great working relationship and uh, sharing all these experiences with you. Um, I'm not sure exactly how everything is going to play out because like it was mentioned, today is my very first day, but I am very honored to be part of it. So thank you very much for having me. It's a delight to have you here with us. And welcome. Uh, thank uh, you. we're looking forward to all the things I won't have to do anymore. <laughs> well, that's the whole point, right? So yeah, exactly. make it easier for you and streamline all of uh, all of the infrastructure on the, the communication side. Yeah, you've got a lot of background in IT and comms and PR and press. And we're just, we're thrilled that you're uh, joining the, uh, uh, the team and the family here. And as, as you've learned already, uh, we're a diverse group. Uh, we've got Sri Lankans, we've got Hungarians, we've got all kinds of folks on our staff and uh, we welcome you and look forward to working with you in, in the coming months and years. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. Mark, I think it's probably time to go ahead and start posting the address for the live video. And again, I apologize for this is a little clunky. It's my fault. I made the video too long. It cannot be hosted on this platform effectively. So we're going to move everybody over to YouTube. So if you'll, and here's something that most of you are too young to remember, jot down this app. <laughs> you can't even copy and paste the thing, you know? No, so. no, unless, well, uh, Christina has posted it on the comment section, so perhaps uh, people can that, copy it from there. Yeah, that's the same thing I just did. So yeah. you're right. Comment section, you, you can copy and paste if you're in the comment section, but yeah. those that are just in their lazy boy right now. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to grab a napkin. <laughs> yeah, blame me. It's all on me. Um, but I think you'll find a, a worthwhile effort to switch over there. Uh, obviously, I've seen the video. Mary Liz and Ryan did a wonderful job putting it together for us. And as I say, we broke the record for length, but um, that was, we got everybody literally. Um, we don't, at our, any of our previous missions, we did not invite everyone to leave a tribute video. I think we're going to do that going forward. We're going to figure out a better way to present it uh, so that people can, can do that. But this way, when you're watching the video or if you've downloaded the video and you only want to see yourself, <laughs> that's why YouTube added the fast forward button. <laughs> but... I will say, and I think I said it before, amazing stories. We have uh, uh, several, well, everybody is an amazing story who, who was on that flight and uh, we're doing, doing great um, uh, in terms of uh, just the participation uh, in that memorial service was very touching. You'll also see on the video, which will start in seven minutes, um, <laughs> our guests for that two-day event included uh, Celeste's friend, my friend, uh, as former NASA, two-time NASA astronaut, Nicole Stott, who uh, made it to the station twice, but also has got a uh, a new Space for Art Foundation where she's doing good works globally. We have Frank White, who uh, seemingly is everywhere these days, a uh, really deep thinker, space philosopher, author. Uh, there was a pretty highly publicized uh, documentary premiered last night that Frank was involved in the creation of. I'm in it. A lot of other Jeff Bezos is in it. Uh, called The High Frontier, the story of Gerard K. O'Neill. Frank joined us for those two days. And then Christina Rasmussen, who has joined us tonight, who is a um, uh, grief counselor, writer about how people re-enter life after uh, losses. And you'll see she was she was great um, and really offered some some comforting words to the family members who uh, uh, 
uh, tuned in for that. Uh, uh, thank you, Mary Liz. Uh, uh, tuned in to that event uh, not that long ago. So we're about five minutes away from clicking off. Mark, what do you yeah. want? Yeah. Well, uh, you got time for uh, one or two questions, even though our Celestis crew is, is kind of answering them on yeah. their own. But uh, remember, uh, once people replay this video, they can't see the comments. So uh, they, they yeah. have no idea if uh, if a question was answered. Um, those guys are doing a great job, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is a simple, easy one. I think you can, you can answer this, probably generic. Uh, I'm doing pre-arrangement, hopefully in 50 years. Uh, are we able to specify which area like KSC to eventually launch from? Uh, they did an answer in the chat, but you know, it'd be nice to hear what you have to say about that. Well, I want to see what they said. Hopefully I won't say something different. The answer uh, is yes, we do have a preferred option where you can choose uh, the launch location. Uh, you have a, you know, a sort of a cart launch to choose anything that we do. And uh, that will, you know, that is a distinct possibility. Hopefully that's what it said. And, and, and this is how great uh, the team that we have is, is, is not verbatim, but it's yeah. virtually what you just said. Their answer yeah. was exactly what you said. And uh, for that, you get a raise. And um, <laughs> uh, if there are any final questions, you guys got about a minute uh, or two to get it in. Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, my apologies. Uh, someone did ask something about the ashes, and I, I'm, I'm scrolling to try to someone find. Someone was concerned that they were, I guess, on Horizon and Excelsior, and wanted to make sure that we here. There it is. Yeah, I'm uh, sending my husband on the Excelsior mission. In addition right. to this recent Horizon, can you assure me that the, that his remaining ashes you have won't be scattered as they are needed to go up on Excelsior. I can absolutely assure you of that. We have a very <laughs> tight, what we call chain of custody here. And we double, triple and quadruple check uh, everything that we do, particularly when it comes to handling your our precious payload, your precious self or loved ones. And uh, so the answer is yes, we're, we're certain that we will retain those Okay, I got a quick one here that um, I, you and I and Liam know the answer to, but it'd be great if Liam can chime in on the uh, the chat uh, for an answer as well. But uh, Charlie, take it from here. Uh, yes, uh, the uh, the brilliance of Liam's device is that it's remotely programmable, so that we can add missions as we fly missions. So if you have a Celestis above and it's set to a horizon and we fly Excelsior, then yes, uh, Liam, there he is. Uh, the answer is as, well, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's an incredible device. If you guys haven't purchased that, you, uh, you might want to get it. Uh, I'm definitely going to do, uh, do mine too, but I'm, I'm a procrastinator, so I'll, I'll have mine in 2025. Um, but I think in all honesty that this is a fantastic device that if you have loved ones that are up on a flight right now, you'll be able to track them. You'll be alerted to them being above. And, and I would love uh, to know some of the comments at a future uh, show that we do on how you felt when you knew that your loved one was directly above you. Um, that might be something pretty interesting to touch on. So uh, in the meantime, does our uh, YouTube video start automatically? Is that an starts automatic? starts automatically according to Mary Liz. So we better jump off and give everybody time to go over there and watch the Horizon Flight video. I'm excited for everybody that's going to get to see it. Yeah, remember, guys, there's the YouTube link right there. Um, go ahead and get on to that link. You'll see that the video is frozen, but it will start at 630 on the dot. Uh, thank you so much for joining this broadcast. We appreciate and, and, and all of you uh, that have been with us for as long as at least I've been associated. But um, this is pretty cool. So head on over there. We'll say goodbye for now. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.